I am a Tory. No, never. Yeah, no, I'm a Tory. I'm telling you where bloody Labour's gone wrong because I've had dealings with them and been held back by them. Held back by them? Well, him next door, if he'd done what I told him and not sold his bloody house to the Labour Council, eh? that bloody swine, he sold his house to the council, see? And you know what's going to happen now, don't you? They're going to move bloody council house tenants in there. That's what they're going to do. Yes, yeah, so? So? It's going to lower the value of this property, isn't it? I own this. This property is mine. <laughs> if the council do move people in next door, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. Because yeah. eh? they ought to know all this lot down. That's what I think. Okay. I mean, the architect who designed this lot, I mean, he should be shot, shouldn't he? Mm. He's obviously nothing but contempt for the working people. Do you know that rich landowners keep cattle in better places Excuse than this? Excuse me, that's my home you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not blaming you. Not blaming me? I told him not to buy it. <laughs> no! We're saddled with it now. No! Never be able to sell it. No! <laughs> this is property, isn't it? More like a prison to me. <laughs> There's no knowing what this might be worth when they develop it. Look, I, I've heard that Harry Iams is interested here. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, that's all he needs with his money, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. A chop and two down with an outside lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine Dick Kensington dwelling house with great charm. Yes, public baths only two miles away right. with hot and running cold and water. <laughs> and a nice spot view of the houses across the road. <laughs> Ideal for anyone wishing to keep bugs. We've got no bugs here, Rita. Oh, no, of course not. They perished in the famous knit wars, didn't they? You're getting them back soon now. Don't you worry about that, that bloody lot next door there. Who? Bloody council last tenants probably crawling alive with them, they are. <laughs> What's Harry Irons want with this place? Look, hey. I didn't say it was him. I said I'd heard. That's all I've heard. I've heard that they're going to build a 30-mile golden strip from Tower Bridge down to South End with casinos, <laughs> hotels, restaurants, a lot. Yeah? So I'll make it like, you know, sort of a tourist centre. Like a sort of Las Vegas, you know? Oh. <laughs> Bloody sight better than a docks, that will. So they started to load that ship, haven't they? Yeah. Mm. Mm. 75p. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you get. Shh. Here. Do you mean like Blackpool? Eh? Well, with fairs, roundabouts, all that. Bloody fairs. I didn't sell people ain't interested in fairs and roundabouts, you silly moo. <laughs> you want river bars and champagne and boots and look. Be noisy. Yeah, be a bloody sight more money in it as it was in the docks. But it wash out they turn out to be. <laughs> Cos him and his bloody trade unionists, they were in the bloody docks, didn't they? Eh? Of course they bloody did. They flourishing they was, these bloody docks. Biggest docks in the world, till darling Harold and his lot got their bloody hands on them. <laughs> it was the containers what ruined the docks. Yeah, no, you got containers and a brain you have. They ought to put you in a bloody container, mate. <laughs> The people, the people what ruined these docks, stealing and bloody looting before the ships hardly dropped anchor even. Talk about bloody pirates, come on. Well, you brought things home. Look, if I did, my dear, I bought them, I paid for them, I didn't bloody well steal them. But they've been stolen. <laughs> but you can't give them back, can you, to know they belong to in the first place? Well, you shouldn't buy things that have been stolen. It encourages people to steal, that does. Oh, encourages. They don't need no encouragement. They're natives, are not they? <laughs> ah, well, ship owners fought for employing them in the first place. Well, what do you expect? You employ a bunch of coons, you're going to get stealing, aren't you? They've been brought up on it. <laughs> well, if you're brought up to, to steal before you can eat, it becomes a part of your education, right? No, not right. It might be all right in our own bloody country, mate. It's not all right here. Well, I don't know what they want to come here for. I mean, they must know they're not welcome. Well, some of us try and make them feel welcome, Mum. Yeah, they didn't make us feel very welcome out in their lanes, did they? Always bloody well fighting us out there, they was. It was always the thin red line, wasn't it? I mean, when we was exploiting them. Yeah, an awful exploit. And now they come over here to exploit us, don't they? Exploit us. It's oh, true, oh. they come Ooh. over here, they're sly, they are. God, blimey, crafty as a wag a load of monkeys. They come over here. <laughs> 
They come over and get all their false teeth, false eyeballs, wooden legs, the lot. <laughs> See? They cut their two thousand pounds, go home, start up in business, a new man. Yeah. It's true. Now, that's our bloody national health, what attracts them. <laughs> well, they come over and get all their bloody surgery done, they do. See, they go ill in Pakistan or India, see, and it looks like it might cost a bit to treat them. The bloody government sends them over here. Right, England for you, Alibaba. <laughs> don't come back to your well again. You know, there's some of them, there's some of them even, even want their tribal marks tattooed, National Health. Don't be dark. It's they true. They don't do tribal marks on the National Health. Well, your Jews have it done. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's circumcision rights. And get that done, National Health. I mean, that's just like a tribal mark, isn't it? I mean, we don't have it done, do we? <laughs> right, I mean, you know, some Christians might have it done, but when we have it done, we have it done for purely medicinal reasons, don't we? <laughs> we don't have it done, like, wasting doctors' time and the government's money just for religion. If you're Jewish, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. How many more times I am not bloody Jewish? <laughs> joke and infer that you might be Jewish, you go on as if we've accused you of something awful. Well, it's not a very good thing to be, is it? Well, what's so bad about it? Well, I mean, it's the way they go on. I mean, well, I, I've got nothing against them, you know. It's not their fault they're Jews, you know. <laughs> well, have you Jews, you've got to have them, you know, make the best of it. I mean, I, you know, I have met the odd one or two that's all right. Oh, yeah, some I've met have been very pleasant. Right. I must say, I was never very struck on your father, though. <laughs> My father wasn't Jewish! <laughs> he was. But he was awful, slovenly, a real pig of a man. <laughs> Obviously, he wasn't worth a brass farthing to anyone he'd come in contact with. Mm -hmm. So I suppose he couldn't get a Jewish girl to marry him. In desperation, he married your mother. Bloody <laughs> lie. Bloody lie. I'll tell you something about her and all our friends and bloody relations. They made our life a bloody misery down this street, they did. They persecuted us. Oh. Bloody Labour. Bloody socialist girl, oh dear. Yeah. yeah, they made our lives bloody purgatory. See, they didn't have no real Jews down this street. So they made out that we was Jews. Just like to have a bit of fun and call out after us in the street and not sitting next to us in school and... I ain't sitting next to a bloody black boy or one class. <laughs> oh, God, did it. Oh. Shut up. That was nothing to do with your religion. Here. He always had a runny nose when he was at school. <laughs> His coat sleeves, well. Shut up. And, you know, what's it got to do with Labour? Well, they all wrote bloody Labour around here, didn't they? Yeah, right. All bloody international brother of a man here, isn't it? Who oh, yeah. your bloody comrades and all that. To make me sick, they'd all that crap about the equality of human men. God, it's true. And I've only got... I only got here one little aspersion cast about your race, and the next thing they're all running down the street after you, yelling names after you, long nose and Jew boy and Ike Moan. And <laughs> uh, you Tories don't say. No, we've got a bit more respect, yeah. we have. You got what? Look, if God wants to make them Jews, fair enough. It's his business, isn't it? Oh, no. I mean, you know. Oh, I mean, if, if God wants Jews in the world, well, he's got his reasons, right? It? Well, it's his world, isn't it? Fair enough. You know, I mean. If, if he feels he wants to make Jews, yeah, I mean, he doesn't see them like we see them, do we? Anyway, ain't supposed to be a perfect world, is it? Because he's always said that he will send down things to try us. Like you. <laughs> no. It might be God's will, but we've got to live in it with you. No. He made the blackies, didn't he? Who said he did? He made everyone. Who's... Just me. There is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing in this holy Bible here that says that God made blackies. Look. Here. Like fools. I've been looking for them. Look, I say, look. Just me. Look. There's nothing here, nothing here anywhere in the holy book. This. Thank you. There's nothing here that says that anywhere that he'd come down to speak to them or to lead them anywhere 
or that you come to advise them <laughs> or chastise them circumcise them <laughs> in fact you look there's nothing you don't even refer to them because there ain't no blackies in the bible <laughs> you... what about the egyptians who he God, look, God didn't have nothing to do with it. He didn't mix with them. He even, oh. he even led Moses out of Egypt, so he wouldn't have to mix with them. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well he boobed there, didn't he? Because he eh? that is where all the oil is. Wrong. You're wrong. Right. He boob, did not boob. 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 You're wrong, mate, because in them days, the oil wasn't valuable. It wasn't until he showed us how to make cars and aeroplanes that the oil became valuable, wasn't it? Well, it's a pity he didn't show you how to knock a nail in proper, cos that soap rats fell down again. Yeah, and then he showed us, in his infinite mercy, how to dig the hole out, the, the oil out the hole in the ground, didn't he? Yes. I mean, he, he didn't show your Arabs, did he? He showed us. We was the ones he showed. Yeah, yeah. his chosen people. Yeah. Don't know why he chose us, unless it was to make us suffer. We like won't let us suffer. <laughs> Well, let us suffer, my dear. Don't you worry about that, cos he, when we're in trouble, he sends down a leader for us, same as he sent down a leader for your Jews when I was in trouble. Until he fell out with them, that is. <laughs> yeah, well, if he's gonna send us down a leader, he'd better get his finger up, because I'll tell you something, mate. This country's nearly bankrupt. Yeah. Bankrupt! Do you think he'll send someone down to sort out the miners? I wish he'd send someone down to fix this soap rack. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> You, you give them bloody miners. You give them bloody coal. You give them winding time, mate. That's what you'll give them. You wind them down to the devil. That's what you'll do. And then dig coal from here to eternity. Yeah, make it nice not for when you get there. I wouldn't like to be in them miners' shoes, I'll tell you that. No, I wouldn't because he's seen Enoch, he has. Who has? He has. Yes. He's had a divine revelation. <laughs> Enoch has. He's had a divine revelation. He told Robin Day about it on the telly. I saw it. <laughs> God has spoken unto him. See, he's going to send down a divine revenge. And it's Enoch that he's sorted out to dish it out for him. No salt. <laughs> eh? No salt in these. <laughs> I've lost me Fred now, I? You saw God on the telly? Not God! I never see God! Enoch Powell I see on the telly! He has had a visitation from the Lord! Enoch hobnobbing with God! Oh. Enoch having an audience with the Lord! Oh, blimey, even Nixon ain't gone that far! He plays golf with Billy Graham sometimes, but... You want to know about leaders? The only decent leaders this country's got are on the side of the workers. Yeah, right, right. These are the greatest days England's ever gone through. The people are rising at last. They're rising at last. They said, we don't want any crumbs of your economy. No, stuff your crumbs. Right. We don't want a bigger piece of the cake either. No, we want the cake. Yeah, it sounds to me. It sounds to me, mate, like you want the old bloody bakery and all. <laughs> A minute. Look, if if you was any other nationality but British, mate, they'd be offering you two thousand pounds to go home. I'm glad to give it three thousand if they had to, because you're a burden, mate. A bloody burden on a nation, you are. No, no not me, look, you look, I'll look ya. <laughs> <laughs> It's last week's coupon. I know, I'm filling in last week's results. <laughs> you are supposed to fill that in before the game. I didn't have time before the game. Cool. <laughs> no, I'll tell you something. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know what they do with you and your bloody Russia, mate? They find a use for... Yeah, target practice. That's what you use you for. The great soft twit. Nobody's going to be bothered with people like you who don't work. I work. 
You seem to work hard for a boy, didn't it? Hey, listen, Mrs. Woman. I don't get offered the work I want. You get offered the work you can bloody well do. I don't want that kind of work. He wants work he can't do. <laughs> How do you know I can't do it, eh? I mean, how do you know I can't do it? How do you know I couldn't have been a brain surgeon, eh? Brain surgeon with hands like that? Look at them bloody red mick hands. Go through. <laughs> like him picking about in my brains. He's <laughs> Irish doctors. Oh, yes, yeah, Irish doctors. Oh, Kelly, he's Irish and he's a doctor, but people run a mile before they want to be taken ill near him, wouldn't they? <laughs> anyway, he's only over here scrounging off the bloody national, like all of them. It's a conspiracy, isn't it? It's a bloody Soviet conspiracy that damaged our economy. Who's it? I mean, you look at that Middle East business, the Jews and the bloody Arabs. That was then, that was the Soviets ending that, wasn't it? They don't play chess for nothing, my dear, you know? They're all bloody Boris plastics out there. <laughs> I mean, what do they do? They give you bloody Arabs, they give them their arms, and they poison their minds, see, against the Jews, who don't like them anyway, because they are only black Jews themselves, aren't they? <laughs> do you know that you Arabs are the lost ten tribes of Israel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course, you can see why there wasn't all that fuzzy about bloody well losing them too, can't you? <laughs> anyway, well, oh yeah, see, they give you Arabs your same missile, well, it's a weapon that even even bloody savages like Arab can use, you see. And then, four clothes on our eye porch. You see, got no cash. When are they going to get the money? <laughs> Put a price of petrol up. Well, I'm one of them bloody Soviets. Yeah. I know what they're doing. Cobblers. Hey, cobblers, mate. Cobblers. I'll tell you where the next lot's going to start. And all Rhodesia, mate. That's the next move on the Soviet chessboard. <laughs> They're gonna inflame your blacks, and they incite them to bloody revolution. When they've uprisen, right, all your American coons is gonna help them, because the American coons are gonna run around screaming, whoa! They're gonna say, American Jews help Israel, Jews right. American coons gonna help our brother African coons. Right on! Right on! Because it will. And anyway, your Ruskies know the only bit of the American army worth tuppence is your coon part, because they're the only ones who are fit enough to fight in the war, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. All, all the others are too fat. <laughs> Do you know, do you know, before they can get an American soldier into the field, they've got to stuff his knapsack with bloody cigars, bottles of bourbon, ice cream. They've got to put a 24-inch colour TV set in the front line. They've got to have Bob Hope, Bing Crosby and the Dolly Sisters with him and all. Bing Crosby, oh, I like him. I've sent him a Get Well card. <laughs> Put that light out. No. Look, we had a, a serious message from the government. Asked us to switch off something. S O S. Silly old son. <laughs> no, switch it off. No. Nope. Rita. I'm warning you. I'll report you. I don't know, but if he's this bloody rush, I bet there'll be someone reporting to there. We're helping the miners. Oh, yeah. Yes, don't save fuel. Use it up. Not in this house, you bloody one. Not in this house. What are you doing in here? Come out of there. <laughs> right. Look, oh, this house is Tory and it goes with the government. Oh, I thought you should have said by that. Yeah, well, blame them. Turn that bloody... Turn it off! No, 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 no. Turn that bloody telly off! We'll go without that, mate. I'll go without anything I will to beat him and the bloody miners, and we will win! We will beat you! Turn up! <laughs> right. Right! Help! Help! I pulled the bloody fuse out now! <laughs> I'm going out of bum! And you sit there in the bloody dark! Go on! The Lord!
Days. I used to walk around with a shirt tails hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> See, but now they try to copy our ways, you know, and dress like us. <laughs> Don't suit them, though, does it? <laughs> I mean, I mean, he'd look better in a fez, wouldn't he? <laughs> and I think he looks very nice. Yeah. He's very good looking, isn't yeah. he? <laughs> Not bad, not bad, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah, not as bad as some of them. Yeah. <laughs> Running monkeys. <laughs> Especially the ones who look like us, right? Yeah. He's got more like English features, isn't he? See? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't if it wasn't for the colour, I mean, you wouldn't know the difference, would you? <laughs> so, I suppose you you can't you can't blame the lads in the army, can you? You know, yeah. you can't blame them. Yeah. Army of Brawls got its comforts, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> ah, naughty Tommy! I, <laughs> I bet they knew his mummy round the back of the naffy, eh? Shush! <laughs> 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 yeah, see, don't be daft. I mean, it's a great honour for them to <laughs> have Englishmen make for mother, isn't it? <laughs> it makes them whiter than the rest, you see. <laughs> Pardon, pardon me, sir. <coughs> Would you care for a glass of champagne with me? Oh, it's, it's very kind of you. Bloody black fool, you put it in the beer. <laughs> That's nice of you, John John. Thank you very much. He's all right, isn't he? he he's quite tame, that one. <laughs> That's what a little touch of white does, you see. All right, John John. Walla walla catch me. <laughs> like him, do you? Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> Good for laughing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's your new neighbour. <laughs> Next door, then. Oh, yes, yes. I am the new lodger, but I am not allowed to say so. And I must also not beat Tom Toms, <laughs> cook curry, or keep chickens under the bed. <laughs> and I must not sublet wardrobe to Pakistani families. <laughs> oh, my name is Kevin O'Grady. Howdy doodle. Hello, sailor. <laughs> Kevin O. <Ahu. laughs> not Kevin O'Who. Kevin O'Grady. <laughs> Irish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Packy Paddy. <laughs> yeah. And what part of Ireland are you from then? <laughs> Burn Cork. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, sir, I am from Pakistan. <clears throat> oh, Pakistan ain't in Ireland, mate. Pakistan's in bloody India, mate. Pakistan is not in India, mate. Pakistan's in bloody Pakistan, mate. <laughs> Bangladesh is in India. <laughs> I've seen every bloody thing now. I, I've seen your Liverpool Irish, your London Irish. I've never seen Pakistani Irish before. Please let me explain. I am Muslim on my mother's side. And I am Irish Roman Catholic by an old friend of my father's. <laughs> yes, soon I get 2,000 pounds and I go home, Wog. Are you going back to Pakistan? Pakistan? No, Dublin. God bless the Pope. God bless his spaghetti. 
Bloody white fool at Labour Exchange. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> bloody white Uncle Tom Sambo with short eyes like him. <laughs> he said to me, you are half wit. I tell him, no, I am whole wit. <laughs> Get job down mine, he says. No, I say, I have good job here. I have good job here. I stand behind lorry, wait till something fall off. He says, no, get a job, get a job. I had the job, I said. I had a job, but this job much better. I just sign here once a week, collect social clarity, claim money. Oh, no. And I am not political prisoner. Why should I go down bloody mines? <laughs> and if I go down mine, I go up and have pitted bath, I come out same color. <laughs> not on your gym, neck and nelly. I tell you, this is not a communist country. This is still country of Her Imperial Majesty, V.A.T. the Queen. <laughs> the toast is, God bless the Queen. God oh, bless the Queen. <laughs> Sit down, silly sod. <laughs> Listen, I would never take away coal miners' job. I would never take away Englishman's job. Not while I can sign Social Security get money once a week. <laughs> And for this, I have failed eight O-levels in this country. Eight O-levels. So, mate, it's not so bloody good. Anyone can fail eight O-levels. We all do that. Listen, Don't listen. worry. Now, I do a favor for you. Do you want to buy watch? <laughs> Made in Hong Kong. Chinky Poo works. You can tell time underwater. 450 with pair of nylon stockings for beautiful lady wife. <laughs> That's not my bloody wife! This beautiful woman cannot be your wife. I thought this was your 16-year-old daughter. <laughs> Have a pair of stockings, sexy. Very cheap. Fell off back of ship. Splash. No, we don't want... We don't want any of your bloody stolen goods around here. Sambo. Listen. <laughs> what? You call me tea leaf? Yes. You bloody white hog, you. I give you terrible hit fight. Hit, no, hit, I hit. Me, no, mate. I give you hit, hit, hit on old Jewish conk. I give you... <laughs> Yes, I give you Joe Fraser punch up crutch. I tell you that. You call me thief, I am honest man. And man who stole those is honest man too. <laughs> you bloody white skinhead, you! Why don't you take your Why don't you take your bloody two thousand pound, mate? Take your two thousand pound and get off home! I will! Go I on! Will. I go and see Enoch bloody white power monkey! Yeah! <laughs> And he give me two thousand pounds and I go home walk yeah. to Dublin. And with money, I buy big bomb. I buy big bomb. <laughs> Bloody Irish. Oh, well, dear. This is me. I'll, I'll go and put the fuse in first. Yeah. <laughs>